Hello beautiful Aries friends, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. Hope everyone is doing well. I'm gonna jump right into your love reading. I have pre-shuffled and we are cutting the deck now to see what the energy is at the bottom. All right, 10 of wands, letting go of burdens. I like this card. She looks very, very knowledgeable, very wise. She understands that she has to leave her baggage behind and only carry the essentials forward. The Ten of Wands is Sagittarius energy. It's traveling a long distance, metaphorically, emotionally, um, and but in reality, really letting go of your burdens. Beautiful energy. It's exquisite energy. Very important for your movement forward right now, Aries. All right, so let's look and see. The mutual energy between you and a love interest, person of, of interest, is the strength card, Leo energy. The two of you have fire in your belly for this relationship. This is a recent past. You have overcome some sort of obstacle. You are giving up on some sort of burden that you were bringing into the relationship, but you've overcome a significant obstacle in love. The moon card says that right now you're feeling, you and your love interest are feeling very nervous about the future. You have some fear, you know, the, the moon is your emotions. Both of you have a tendency to get very caught up in your emotions. This is Pisces energy. Some of you may be dealing with a Pisces, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. But this is all about feeling underwater. She feels as though she's drowning. She can see the surface. The white and the black uh, coyote or dog, you know, I can't really see the image very well, but it really speaks to the fact that both of you are feeling fearful, emotionally fearful in the connection. How your person views the situation at this time, I like it. The King of Swords energy is a very intellectual, aloof overview. It's like flying high like the birds, looking at things from a higher perspective. We see truly that this person's relaxed. They're very they're very neutral and they're very sort of positive neutral. They're staying, your person is staying very aware of what's going on. They want to make decisions that are not going to pull them under emotionally. How they view you, Aries, we see, oh, <laughs> Oh my God, out of 78 cards, the chances of pulling the Aries Queen, the Queen of Wands, in the position that represents you and how your person views you is exceptionally, it's extraordinary actually. So statistically extraordinary. So your person knows who you are, Aries. They understand you. They get you. They love your fire. Sometimes they're intimidated by your fire. But your person sees you as someone who is quite magical. You can see the wand ahead over her head and the little ball of fire here in her hand that she's created. She's surrounded by all this beautiful fire and candlelight. She's sexy. She's opportunistic. She's very much a, a starter, you know, that's what Aries does. You are the starters of the magnificent um, birth and astrology wheel, but your person sees you as powerful, sexy, someone who could attract anyone, how they feel in their heart space. Eight of Cups, okay, that's a little bit worrisome, I would say. Eight of Cups is the energy of Pisces. So we have the Moon and the Eight of Cups. Your person feels as though right now with the two of you underwater that they there's a, an impulse that they have to walk away. They truly do have that impulse. So we can't ignore that. But what I also see is that your person has stuck around. They're staying very cool, calm, and collected. They're taking very much a wait-and-see attitude. So we're going to dig into these cards, obviously, because we need you need to know what that means. But the Eight of Cups is, I'm really exhausted. It is, I don't know where the sun is in my life, but I'm, I'm searching for it. So your person is very much in a search mode. But this is a card of walking away from the relationship, potentially. They want more satisfaction, more happiness, joyfulness, laughter, because they're walking towards the sun, and that's what the sun represents. And the sun is the opposite of the moon. Okay how they see the situation moving forward. Excellent card, 
Excellent, excellent, excellent card to draw. This is magnificent because you have the strength card here in the past. So your relationship looks to me, Aries, for many of you, this is not a new relationship. This is definitely a relationship that's been long-term established. So what we see here with this beautiful King of Wands energy, Leo energy, fire sign energy. So we have two Leo energies and we have Aries. So the, you know, and we have Sagittarius. So you've got a trifecta of fire. Your person really loves what you bring to the table. They love how exciting you are. They feel a lot of pride and dignity. Um, when things are going well between the two of you, they feel like you are their one. They feel like you're the only person they want to be with. Um, they see you as the, the kings are always married, right? That's the energy that they have. This person wants stability, they feel. But this person has a lot of pride. So the one thing I would say, Aries, is sometimes you're so blunt. You know, and I love Aries. I mean, my God, my best friends are Aries. But I would be very careful with my words with this person. Whenever I get a lot of Leo energy, you're talking about both of you have a lot of pride. So words mean a great deal to you. So I would just say be careful. Choose your words carefully, especially when you get worked up or fired up or feel underwater emotionally. This person wants this relationship to work. They plan on it working, but their alternate plan is leaving if it doesn't work. If they can't make it work at a practical level, this person will make a head over heart decision. So that's what I have. What is hidden between the two of you? We have the tower card. So the foundation of your relationship was never stable when it was established. It may have come together very quickly. It may have come together due to circumstances. You may have decided, for instance, maybe to move in very quickly because of the circumstances of one or both of you. But the Tower card is the epiphany. It's that moment when you say, oh my God, I thought we were more stable. I thought we were further along. And the lightning strike, it's still a very beautiful relationship because this Tower card is quite stunningly beautiful. It says that this is a gift from the universe. You have a butterfly. You can enlighten yourselves as individuals. This relationship is calling on both of you to grow emotionally beyond the baggage of childhood or the baggage of your past. So it really is calling on both of you to build a strong foundation. So you have, these are big major arcana cards, the Strength, the Moon, and the um, Tower card. So let's see what Spirit is recommending. Spirit is saying, okay, oh, I love this. Spirit is saying to you, Aries, that you really need to close out a negative cycle and to just bring forth that which is positive. The World card is very enlightened. It's really reaching full circle, the recognition that we all have to keep growing. We all have to keep developing. You don't just get to arrive at age 35 and check out and say, I'm fully formed me and I'm never going to grow because I'm perfect the way I am. What Spirit is calling on you to say is that you can always grow, that you should always grow, that you should always seek growth. And so close out any cycle, you know, fix these problems fix these problems, close out the cycle of anything negative, and go for the success that's very visible in this relationship. You have everything you need to make this relationship work as a team. What is the outcome short term? Ooh, Nine of Cups. Oh, I love that. The Nine of Cups, Pisces energy, you overcome. So we go from the eight to the nine. So your person, even though they're in their heart space, they're fearful that they're going to have to walk away. You're fearful that they will walk away. You come out of this period of time in your relationship in which you find your happiness again. You find your laughter. You find your camaraderie, your companionship, your sensuality, your spontaneity in the relationship is what is really holding. The, it's a glue that holds the two of you together. And next to the world card, it speaks to great success, going from the eight to the nine, great success, overcoming obstacles. But what we're seeing here is that your foundation, 
needs this level of happiness. Both of you need a very high level of happiness and laughter and joy. This is a card, you know, especially when we look at the Leo King. Leo is the operator, you know, the manager of the fifth house of romance. So it really tells me that your person needs a high level of romanticism from you, that you give it naturally. So let's go ahead and dig in. We're going to really um, clarify these also right now. I'm also, before we end the relationship reading right here, we're going to go through what they like about you best. And we're also going to pull an oracle reading for you. So stay tuned. This is a beautiful reading, but it is full of some challenges that are, I think, easy to overcome, actually, with awareness. So why do we have the Ten of Wands here? Why do we have the Ten of Wands here? So we have <laughs> the Aries Queen. All right. So both of you, metaphorically speaking, want to leave the baggage of the past behind. Aries, you're the leader in the relationship, whether you admit it, whether you want to acknowledge it, whether, whether you think it's true or not, you're truly the leader. You basically lay the, the ground, the groundwork for what's going to happen. Your person is a lot less kind of intensely emotional than you are. They're more aloof. Um, but we see that you're the one who's really um, kind of pioneering this relationship. I like it. Look at that. We have a new offer coming in for love. Both of you romancing each other. Pisces energy, Pisces energy after a period of feeling very uh, fearful. Oh, the lover's card, soulmate energy. So giving up the baggage of whatever conflict and whatever instability there are there is in the relationship, you're taking a leadership role with self-mastery with your person and your relationship is a soulmate relationship. Why do we have the strength card moving slowly forward? Uh, very day-to-day, -day, very practical energy, getting up every morning and being very consistent, very stable. I love our sign energy for relationships. The Ace of Coins, oh my gosh, that can be a ring. That's a significant offer. So both of you have really dedicated yourselves to taking your time to rebuild and work on this relationship, to plant new seeds, to have new growth, to enjoy each other, but really almost like reaffirming vows if you're married. What do we have here? What else do we need to know about that strength card? Ace of Wands. Oh, reuniting passion. Really allowing your emotions to take a physical um, a physical expression. Passion. Very beautiful. And that's so much a part of Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. This is a fairy godfather, the fairy godmother card of the Zodiac uh, or of the Tarot. It is uh, eat, drink, be merry. It's sensuality. It's, it's all about making love. It's all about advancing pure happiness and romance. So we see the path. Why is the moon card here? The lover's card. Nice. So both of you feel as though you're soulmates. And so the thought of losing one another is really daunting, as it should be. Oh, and look at this. The strength card popped out again. You both truly know that you, are, the two of you, have an incredible connection. You're both very aware of it. And you both know that there needs to be change. And you're both working at it. Look at victory. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We love that. The, the, uh, that's Leo energy again. So I would say the one thing that gets in your way in this relationship is whenever you run into trouble, whenever you get this moon card, okay? Whenever you get this moon card, uh, what I'm seeing here is that it means that one of you, because you feel vulnerable, one or both of you get very sort of egocentric and very ego driven. Well, what does that mean? It means that you get into that space of I'm right, you're wrong, as opposed to um, it's what's right, not who's right. So I would say that whenever you get very nervous in this relationship, you should talk and ask questions. Stop talking about your viewpoint and ask your person what they think of the situation. What is their opinion? What is their feedback? And then you can break that loop. You can really break this loop of getting very defensive, getting so overwhelmed with your emotions that in a panic, you start to become 
what would seem arrogant or like, well, I do that because of this and you do that and that makes me do this and getting out of that kind of arguing. Just give it up. It won't work. All right. So not saying that you do it, but I think it happens as an automatic response when people feel super vulnerable. The King of Swords card. Let's see what we have here for the King of Swords. Look at this. Your person is very invested in the relationship. They are very, oh, look, I like the Scorpio King. Very good energy. Your person wants a new beginning. Why? Because you make them really happy. When things are good, they're great. Balance is what your person seeks. Now, here's what I get. Your person is, a, is very measured in their emotional responses, typically. They don't oftentimes speak out of turn. When they do, it would be probably pretty daunting. Pretty uh, could be very negative, but when we get the King of Cups, we get the somebody who's capped in their own ship of emotions. They have them under control. The King of Cups is almost the antithesis of the Moon. Okay, it's Scorpio energy. It says, "I've been to the wars and back. I've been in a perfect storm, and I've survived and come back. And I know that I know what I need in life." So your person is very invested. Um, I love this energy that they're bringing to the table because although we see Dr. Doolittle energy here with the King of Swords, we're really seeing someone who is staying very masterfully balanced in their emotions between intellect and raw emotion. They're invested. They want the new beginning. They enjoy the happiness, but they definitely want the Justice card. Now, the Justice card can also indicate that if things go very well, your person would possibly want to marry you or, you know, you could be married. But it's all about uh, making legal commitments together, such as buying a home, it can be a prenuptial agreement. It can be a marriage license. But justice always says balance, equality for both people. And it's a commitment of some sort that's of a legal nature. Oh, look at that. They see you as, they see you, <laughs> I like this. When they view you, Aries, they do think that you're quite young at heart. They see you as a little bit of an idealist. They see you as a person who will always take the leap of faith. But they also think that you, you very much are powerful. You know, they see you as being someone who's very in command of your life, that wild horses couldn't hold you back, that, you know, at the end of the day, when you feel defensive, though, you do hold back your emotions or you go quiet on them. But your person likes the fact that you're very giving. The chariot card is Cancerian energy. It's about, honey, I'm home. And you welcoming your partner in or you, you know, arriving home. But you are very strong in the way you create your home environment with for love. And we get you releasing you releasing some of the defensiveness. I get that here and I get it here also. So I like the energy that both of you are coming to the table and releasing what are probably old conditioned ways of thinking. So I love that energy. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Tell us more about that Eight of Cups, Two of Coins. So your person is looking at their options. You know, they're juggling two different ideas. It speaks to the fact that, you know, it's Cancerian energy. Your person wants to feel safe, secure. Uh, they definitely want the relationship with you. But they definitely, what we see here is that your person needs a lot of stability. When things are up in the air, when they don't know what choice you're going to make, when they don't know what choice they're going to make, uh, they tend to go very silent but I let the they want and they are seeking the energy of the the uh, Queen of Pentacles, somebody who's willing to do the work in the relationship, somebody who's willing to nurture, somebody who's willing to be kind, motherly, fatherly. Look at that Ten of Cups. They see you as a marriage opportunity, and if things go really well, chances are that that's something they want. Pisces energy very strong again. So your person really does love you, but this is a person who would always walk away if they thought a relationship was toxic. Okay, so what else do we have here for your person? The Eight of Swords. See, they're not telling you any of this. They're just not sharing with you. I think that they've made some sort of statement that caused the Tower card about leaving. I definitely think that. 
but we see your person. They never really, what they were trying to do is sort of shock you into um, holding back a little bit. But I like, this is really good energy. It really speaks to the fact that your person doesn't want to overstep their bounds. They don't want to, but they know what they need and they know what they want and they're going for it with you. Why is the King of Wands here for you? King of Wands. Your person's watching you very carefully. Whatever you're doing online, they're very aware of it. That is, they want to win at all costs. Sometimes they're sneaky, you know, to be very blunt. I mean, that is a sneaky card that's like sneaking around. I call it the tricky, the tricky dick card or the tricky tricksy card or whatever. But I'm not fond of that energy. I'm really not. See the moon card. So whenever they become very insecure, they become very withdrawn and sneaky. So weird energy, but it is a consistent theme sometimes in this reading. Let's see. We get the five of cups. So your person is feeling not super hopeful right now as they look at the future. The tower card. They think that it's only a matter of time before the two of you have another significant argument or situation. The Ace of Cups, though, they love you. They want a new beginning in love. They're very scared. I will say straight out, your person is fearful. They are very fearful. But the Ace of Cups is here, so Ace of Cups, new love for the two of you. That's how they see the relationship going forward. Why is the tower card hidden here? Oops, a daisy. The tower card is hidden because somebody said something out of the blue that, oh, wow, wow, okay. So, so whatever happened with the tower card, I feel as though it had to do with the Eight of Cups. Somebody saying that they might leave. I feel that that was something that was said in haste. Uh, during an argument or a difficult period of time. They have remorse and regret over having said it. This person does see you as their soulmate, but this is what's hidden between the two of you right now. The two of you are not talking about it. It's like this is the elephant in the room, that both of you are very afraid, that both of you have a lot to say, that both of you have looked at your alternatives, that both of you still have fire in your belly for the relationship. And both of you are still choosing one another as a primary relationship. And the Queen of Swords energy with the King of Swords says that both of you are being very logical. You're being very, um, very sort of judgmental in a good way, but definitely head over heart because we see for all the passion, we see both of you trying to remain very stable, very logical, judge everything fairly. What do we have here? Why is the world card here? What is the cycle that you're closing out? What's the cycle you're moving into? Three of coins. Good. Okay. So Spirit is recommending that you treat life like a collaboration to be successful in this relationship. That you're going to have to ignore some of what the other person does. Benjamin Franklin, one of our founding fathers of the United States, used to say, go into marriage with your eyes wide open and for there ever after closed and so or half shut is what he said. And so it's kind of like that. It's like, yeah, when things get thorny between the two of you, you're going to have to back down off of any temperamental things that would be said. The ego runs high in the relationship. Both of you are easily offended. Both of you are very much um, in this egotistical energy that really goes into fail mode when there's a lot of conflict. So it means that both of you get all up in your head. You get angry. You get, you want to, you know, you both have a lot of pride and dignity. And you, well, you know, it shows that words happen that are not necessary in the relationship that damage it when you get too ego driven here and both of you do it i mean it's mutual energy so what do we see here for the nine of cups the ace of wands beautiful ace of wands again lots of fire in your belly make make a little love do a little dance get down tonight oh collaborate showing up yet again collaborating in the relationship the four of wands that's a marriage card that's the 11 11 that's twin flame that's buying a home together with the justice card 
you know, we see that as, as definitely a potential. So this relationship has a potential to go the distance if it hasn't already, if you've not, not married. But it also has, a, has the power to make both of you exceedingly happy for a lifetime um, if you allow it to be so. But there is certainly work that has to be done here. So let's look and see what the animal spirit guides have to tell you about the work that you should do right now. I know this reading is running long, but I really want to start putting more advice into the reading so you know what to do with the energies. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, tell me, please. Cat spirit. Claim your independence. So that's a strength in the relationship that I see. Both of you are very independent. Both of you have lives of your own that you've developed, and it really speaks to the fact that that's one of the strong suits in your relationship. Believe in yourself, very important. Both of you need to believe in yourself. What I see, especially with your partners, I don't think your partner believes in themselves. I feel as though all the things that have happened to them have made them feel that they better cut and run or also get wounded very badly. So we see a person, I think, who has a little relationship PTSD as your partner. We have learned from the past, elephant spirit. Don't repeat the mistakes of the past. So it's logical. We all know it intellectually, but oftentimes we don't do it. So let's see what the sacred destiny has for this relationship. What are the messages from sacred destiny tarot or oracle, excuse me. Let's see what we have here. Powerful relationship, Aries, really powerful. Reflect and redirect your energy. So when you start to have a tower moment, when you start to feel insecure, do not act or speak on it immediately. Use that energy of, you know, expecting the best from your partner and yourself and just redirect that energy. We have success expands in your life. Gates of triumph. What are you guys up to? I like that. That is great energy because it looks as though you're about to open or go through a portal. There's a big change coming with this beautiful sun shining brightly. Look at this. When we see the Eight of Cups moving forward near the sun, that's almost the same energy if you can look at the cards like that. So it speaks very profoundly to the direction that you're going in this relationship. Okay. So let's see what the Seven Energies Oracle says for you in terms of your relationship. What can you do to make this better? All right. We have birds of a feather flock together. So really emphasize the things that you have in common with each other. I think that's an area. Expand upon all of those things that you like. So say you like going to rock concerts. Go to rock concerts. Make sure you have one scheduled, two or three or whatever. Uh, listen to music together, together, being grateful, look at that. A big old cup of love. We saw this is the Ace of Cups, a big cup of love here. Nine cups of love here. So the two of you have the potential to have a long-term committed relationship of great happiness and joy. I want to look a little bit at the shadow here just to see what the energies are for you that could challenge you, the help or the hindrances. Okay. The feminine in this relationship has had someone who really was very heartless with you. Whether it be the feminine or the masculine, you both have to know this, that the heartless love was experienced in a way that was really damaging. It could be both of you also. And that that has been what has brought you into this defensive mode when it comes to relationship. The challenge is stay grounded. When you feel this sort of old reminiscent feeling of being underwater in relationship, it really speaks to the fact that it's a trigger. Don't let it take over. The challenge is to stay grounded. We also have the temptation is to let yourself be triggered. The things your person likes about you best... We have six of voices. Your person likes the fact that when things don't work out for you, that you have the power, the strength, and the dignity to move forward and take care of yourself. They really respect that about you. 
They also love the fact that you are a person of small things. They love the fact that you get up and every day you think about what you're going to do on a practical level. You're very grounded. They see you as very, very grounded. It's somebody who has a lot of hobbies or skills or somebody who's really uh, kind of creative that you're always working on a project, even day to day. They see you as in Ten of Inspiration, the Ten of Wands. They see you with deep respect in, in terms of your willingness to let things that do not work go. They really, they appreciate that about you. They feel a lot of respect because you've given up a real sense of security at some point in your life to move forward because it was what was best for you. We see the aid of materials. They love the fact that you're always juggling projects. You're always learning something new. The muse of inspiration is the king of wands. They see you as fiery and passionate and a leader in your own right. The ace of materials, ace of coins, they see how much value you bring to the table. They love the fact that you're so giving. They love the fact that you're always developing something. You're always working on something. But they feel as though you give a lot to everybody that you love. The hermit card, they like the fact that you can be alone for long periods of time. They like the fact that you are courageous enough to look inside. They feel as though you're a very introspective person. They feel as though you're very smart. Also, the hermit's very smart. The two of materials, they, <laughs> they like the fact that you can multitask. And we love the three of inspiration. They love the fact that you always have something going on. You're always building and looking into your future. Aries, that's your reading. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from and tell me what you think of the Oracle addition to this and the level of um, advice that I'm trying to give you to help you have the best outcome. So I would like to know if you like that or not. So let me know. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.